Hey, lords, ladies, and collectors, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. So today I'm just going to go over the hood that I actually managed to acquire just before Christmas. It was a uh, very beginning of December, and it was really strange because my nephew he is also a collector too, and we often search the internet looking for. I'd say definitely bargains, you know, we're not out there to spend hundreds of pounds on some of these items. And we often look for each other. And he happened to be looking on the marketplace and he came across this little beauty. Not this one, <laughs> but this one. And uh, for me, it's just the... The, the thing that I love, and it's a Franklin Mint version of this absolutely stunning Cadillac. It is a beautiful, but the downside to this is, if I can just show you in there, uh, where are we? Just the, the state of it, really, and I guess that's where the bargain comes in to play. Uh, the amount of money that these go for it's sort of pretty astronomical and for me this was a bargain price I think I paid about £30 for it now it does need a little bit of TLC but it's only service dirt it's nothing to worry about whatsoever um, the the interior mirrors come off and I believe it's I've put it in there yeah you can just see it shaking and moving around in there but the details on these Franklin Mint and Denby Mint vehicles are stunning. They are so absolutely perfect. It's just crazy. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit there. Let's see what you can get. It's just amazing. So I just uh, uh, got in touch with the lady. She was local. And uh, I obviously purchased it as soon as I seen it. I think I paid £40 for it, maybe 30 I think I knocked it down to 30 in the end. Um, the story goes, it, these were all her uncle's cars except for the Bugatti, which I inherited, which got me into collecting in the first place. Franklin Mint, 1989. This actual replica was made. And it is... I believe <laughs> let's just have a look what it is they're all 124 scale and it is there you go 1930s Bugatti Royal Coupe now I inherited these this one I inherited let's just pop him back there <laughs> That one and uh, this one as well inherited, which got me into the whole idea of collecting scale cars. And I've always had a love for them anyway, because they're just so brilliant. You know, all the cars that you wish you could own, but you can't. So I've digressed a little bit. Let's go back to what we were saying. So when I got there, um, I spoke to the lady and I said, these are absolutely brilliant, but they are so dirty. But for me, that's not a, a bad thing. That just shows the love that the person before me had for them. And, you know, you just want to carry that on. She said to me, have you seen the other items I've got? I says, no, I have not. <laughs> I've not seen them. And uh, so this is what she had. So after nipping home and checking out a, a page, these were some of the things that she had. Um, here we go. This, these Volkswagens were never even opened. Still in the box. They're um, a, a celebratory for the VW. It's the very first VW, along with the new when they brought the new shape out. Uh, obviously, I'm going to go into these a lot more as uh, the channel goes on. But this is just a quick overall of the the haul that I managed to pick up of uh, Franklin Mint vehicles now so I'm just going to basically not get too deep into these if you want to see the full reviews and the progression I make on 
these vehicles. The motorbikes, they're my own. They're just in there for the diorama, along with the characters and everything else. It was literally seven cars that I, I picked up. I paid, I think, something like 260 quid for the lot. They all want TLC. Uh, some have got little mirrors that have broke off, but I have them that just need repair. But they'll be going into the diecast attic for repair, and I will be showing how I repair them, how I clean them, and the things I do to try and get them back into some sort of condition. Uh, but uh, I had a guy uh, cleaning this Ford and literally used a cotton bud on the window and a little bit of the metalwork with a tiny, tiny bit of warm water and it came straight up clean as a whistle. So, but oh, wow, I absolutely love them. I just love the detail of all of them. I love this one with the suicide doors on. That's probably one of my favourites. So with that said and done guys, I hope if you're interested, come over to the YouTube channel where uh, you'll get to see the progression of not only these cars, but the other cars I have in the collection, plus the way I'm, I'm building this new diorama garage. It's literally just started. It's all going to be 124 scale. So come over to Diecast Attic on the YouTube channel and uh, also the Instagram and the Facebook. It's a bit cheesy at the minute, but... I'm just sort of getting into this YouTube larker and uh, I'm really enjoying it. But uh, check it out. With that said and done, guys, get out and collect. I'll see you soon. So under here is a bonus. Um, this would probably be, for me, the value of all these vehicles together. And it's going to be an unveiling. It's again in pretty much the same condition as uh, the other ones. Obviously, except VWs, which are immaculate. Uh, but that one is very, very special. Very special vehicle that on its own would be the value of all these vehicles put together. There's going to be an unveiling soon on the YouTube channel. So check it out. With that said and done, guys, get out. And collect. I'll see you soon.